What's up guys? Previously we saw alkylation and the alkylation. It's time to see isomerization, which is another important reaction in the industry. And essentially the change of structure. You're not going to change the number of carbons or hydrogens. You're not going to do that. You are going to essentially rearrange the molecule into a more useful isomer or, or isomer that uh, you can sell for higher price. And the process is particularly useful for the octane rating on gasoline, petrol, or whatever you want to gas, uh, gas, I think, for Americans, as the branch alkenes burn more efficiently, of course, because they have more acid. So imagine having this. You have oxygen here, oxygen here, oxygen here, oxygen here. It's better than having oxygen here, here, and here, and here, and here. So this one, this butane burns way less or faster or efficient as this methyl propane. There is more space for oxygen. You can have an oxygen here, oxygen right here. So in the same sum of oxygens you will have a better rate of combustion and this is very important so your engine will work efficiently. So this is only one case but as you can see gasoline is a very important uh, material so that's why isomerization units are important. And this is a isomerization plant. Actually, there's only one. Is many people think that isomerization occurs in, in many places, but the thing is that maybe you have isomerization in one tower and you need to separate all the impurities and then you need to add other materials. So that's why you actually have a lot of, uh, let's say, equipment there. So it's not that complex the process, the process is easy. The important thing is to eventually get a product that you can either use or ship or sell or all of that. Once again here you have your isomerization unit. You can have it as fancy or as complex as you want. These are very typical on refineries. You can actually go and check out if you really want to. Go check out right in Google Images isomerization units. And you will find a lot of them. I think it's worth it because you're going to start to see which if you have a petrochemical plant near your house or when you travel you see one. You can start analyzing and know which tower is it and what each tower does and why do they have it there and why not. You can even start wondering yourself why not working in a petrochemical plant which is a joy. I love it when I was there. I love having all the piping systems etc. But anyways guys that was isomerization. We're going to continue in the next video with hydrogenation and dehydrogenation. What's up guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.